Hi everyone. Good morning. Hope you all are fine. Stay at home. Today we will discuss about reproduction in organisms which is chapter 1 in our NCRT second year biology textbook. In this chapter, first we have to discuss about the lifespan of an organism. Each and every organism can live only for a particular period of time. That means from birth to the death. What is lifespan? The period from birth to the natural death of an organism represents its lifespan. We will consider only the natural death. The period from birth to the natural death of an organism represents its lifespan. Lifespan of organisms are not connected with the, their size or shape. We will take one example. The size of crow and the size of parrot are almost similar. But their lifespan shows a wide difference. Do you know what is the lifespan of crow? 15 years. What is the lifespan of parrot? 140 years. Similarly, a mango tree has the lifespan is below 100 years, but the people tree or the banana tree has the lifespan is more than 250 years. Here, the size and shape is similar, but the lifespan shows wide difference. Now, we will discuss about some of the lifespan of organisms. Elephant, 50 years to 70 years. Dog, 50 years to 22 years. Cow, 22 years. Crocodile, 60 years. Tortoise, 100 to 150 years. Banana tree, 200 to 250 years. Crow, 15 years. Parrot, 140 years. Every individual organism will die. No individual is immortal. What is the meaning of immortal? Will die. But some of the single-celled organisms like amoeba, paramecium, euglena, bacteria, etc. These don't have natural death. Why do we say there is no natural death in single-celled organisms? In, in these single-celled organisms, cell division will take place. Next, we will discuss about the reproduction. What is reproduction? Reproduction is defined as a biological process in which an organism gives rise to young ones or progeny or offspring similar to itself. That means an organism give birth to the young ones which is similar to that parent. Some of the examples see in the picture. This young ones are growing, maturing and again producing their young ones. There is a cycle of birth, growth and death. Thus re reproduction enables the continuity of the species generation after generation. What is the importance of reproduction? It continues the generation. There is a large diversity in the biological world and each organism has evolved its own mechanism to multiply or to produce the young ones to continue their generation. The organism's habitat, its internal physiology and several other factors are actively responsible for how it reproduces. There are two types of reproduction. First one is a sexual reproduction. Second is a sexual reproduction. First we will discuss about the asexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction is a type of reproduction in which the progeny are produced from a single parent without the involvement of formation and fusion of gametes. 
next we will see the features of asexual reproduction first point uniparental it means single parent the asexual reproduction is taking place from a single parent second point formation and fusion of gametes do not take place because gametes uh, means uh, sex cells uh, no formation and fusion of gametes somatic cells are involved next point body cells are involved in the reproduction because they are not producing the gamete cells so the body cells are involved in the reproduction fourth point asexual reproduction involves the production of different types of the asexual spores we will take later discuss about the spores so spores conidia etc fifth point offsprings are genetically similar to their parents then the sixth point and the last point the rate of reproduction is faster next one word is there clones clones means the individuals that are morphologically and genetically similar to the parents is called clones asexual reproduction also we saw that one the in the organisms what they are producing is similar to their parents so we can call asexual reproduction is also called clones next we will discuss about the different types of the asexual reproduction first we will go for the cell division there are two types of cell division first one is the binary fission second one multiple fission the next point is a budding gemules different types of the spores one is zoospores, spores another one it is the conidia then it is the fragmentation now each point will go for that first one it is the binary fission binary fission is also a type of asexual reproduction in this process the parental organism divides into two equal halves and each half forms one independent daughter organism so listen the organism is a parental organism is divided into two equal halves and each half is forming a new organism example is there amoeba planaria etc now we'll go for the multiple fission multiple fission also is a form of a sexual reproduction in this process the parental organism divides into many daughter cells and each form becoming an independent daughter organism see that one here it is divides into the many organisms many half and each half is forming a new individual so example is monocytes amoeba again example is there now next a form of a sexual reproduction is budding in which new individual is produced as an outgrowth of the parent and held for some time later it is detached from the parent cell and forming an identical copy of the parental cell and they are forming a new organism so budding is a form of a sexual reproduction in which new individual is produced as an outgrowth and initially they are staying with that uh, connected with that parental organism and later it is detached from the parental cell and forming a new organism there are two types it is there unicellular bud example is yeast multicellular bud is hydra now next we will go for the gemmules gemmules is a a uh, type of asexual reproduction in this internal buds which represent specialized mass of cells that can develop into an offspring examples for fresh water sponges like spongilla see this one here it is uh, these organisms are living in the water so they are protected inside the 
body cells of the spongilla and once it is becoming mature that spongilla will burst out and each one is coming out and they are forming a new organism this one is very important what is gemmules and the examples next example next form of sexual reproduction is fragmentation it's a form of a sexual reproduction where the parental body breaks into different fragments and each form develop into a new individual that it is example is spirogyra now next we will discuss about the two spores there are two spores i told the first one will take a so spores so spores means that spores are present inside the sporangium sporangium means inside where it is present endogenous sporangia so first the point here this one so spores it is a flagellated what is the meaning of flagella flagella it is the locomotory structure a hair like structure present in the small organisms flagellated the second point locomotive structure so they are the movement is present so that we can call it is the motile spores third point it is formed inside the sporangium endogenous sporangium so next example is chlamydomonas okay now next form of asexual reproduction also type of a spores that is called conidium it is, is in the fungus it is present non flagellated there are no movement flagella is absent so there is no movement non motile spores and it is formed at the tip of the conidio force it is present outside the body so it is called exogenous example is penicillium see now we will discuss about the, what are the differences between so spores and conidium first point there are the so spores are flagellated conidia non flagellated second point motile spores there it is non motile spores formed inside the sporangium here it is formed at the conidia force endogenous exogenous last point example chlamydomonas and penicillin Next, we will discuss about the explain the process of asexual reproduction in amoeba. Asexual reproduction in amoeba takes place by binary fission. It is the division of parent cell into two equal halves, and each half grows into one adult. We will see how it is taking place in amoeba. The amoeba there is no particular shape. inside the nucleus is present first we will go for that and how it is the nucleus of the cell elongates and divides into two this is followed by the division of cytoplasm resulting in two equal sized daughter cells now next we will discuss about the asexual reproduction in the yeast cell in yeast cell cell division through the body the yeast cell division is unequal and the small buds are formed they remain attached initially to the parental cell and slowly eventually get separated and mature into new yeast cell see that one you should see that one what is body a new organism forming from the parental yeast and they are forming into a new organism and detached from the parental cell and forming a new cell now next we will discuss the process of multiple fission in amoeba in amoeba already we discussed about the binary fission now again we will discuss about the multiple fission in amoeba see that one in amoeba you know small organism single celled organism they can survive in the unfavorable condition and also they can survive in the favorable condition first we will discuss about the unfavorable condition during unfavorable condition amoeba withdraws its pseudopodia what is the meaning of pseudopodia it is the locomotory structure of amoeba 
it withdraws again inside to the pseudopodia and secretes a three layered hard covering that it is called a system and that is producing and it is covered in self of the amoeba. So this phenomenon is called encystation. It's a normal time during unfavorable condition amoeba withdraws its pseudopodia and it secretes a three layered hard covering around itself. This phenomenon is called encystation. Now next we will discuss about the unfavorable condition. When unfavorable condition the encysted amoeba divides into multiple fusion and produces many small amoebas inside the structure. Once it is in the favorable, the spores, it is bursting out, the spores are liberated to the surrounding medium and to grow up into many small amoebas. Like a spores, it is coming out from the inside the ancestral structure. So this is called sporulation. In the multiple fission in amoeba, there is two processes are there in the unfavorable condition encystation in the favorable condition sporulation is present another one more type of asexual reproduction is called vegetative reproduction citizen vegetative reproduction is a type of asexual reproduction present in plants in which the somatic cells or vegetative parts give rise to new individual. That means the somatic structures means the body parts of the plant means some uh, root, stem, leaf, any part of the plant give rise to a new plant is called vegetative reproduction. The somatic structures of plants involved in the vegetative propagation are called vegetative propagules. Some of the vegetative propagules with the examples are that. First point, runner. Example is grass or oxalis, rhizome. Example, ginger, turmeric, banana plant. Third example, sucker. Example chrysanthemum, fourth point tuber, example potato, fifth one oxid, example water hyacinth, next bulb, example onion, next bulbils, example agave, next adventitious buds, example bryophyllum, next stolen, example strawberry, next stem cutting, example sugarcane plant, rose plant, etc. Now next we will discuss about another one plant, water hyacinth. It is an aquatic plant but it is known as the terror of Bengal. Why it is called so? Water hyacinth is one of the most invasive weed, unwanted plant present in the standing water of lakes and ponds. It drains the oxygen from water and hence it causes the death of aquatic organisms. So this water hyacinth is called terror of Bengal. Now next we will discuss about another one more plant that is the bryophyllum plant in which type of reproduction is present in the bryophyllum plant? Why it is called so? The adventitious buds present or arise from the notches or the margins of the leaves grow into a independent plant legs. So that the bryophyllum plant vegetative reproduction is the adventitious buds.